Charles, Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? We've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Comrade Major, but what do you need to get to the bottom of? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed? That is, unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's a woman in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? Time for a dirt nap, Stuck. Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did Sashinov say? Oh, okay, okay. Easy it's now. like. Okay, okay. Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. To the... Okay. Uh, Comrade Sashinov wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, okay. Anything else? Uh, Comrade Sashinov asked me to give you this. Huh. This will come in. You're a soldier, Agent B3. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me! Huh? Wait, where are you going? The slippery little bitch! Pretty here. Just like Moscow. Better, actually. More futuristic. And on a larger scale. My design. Your what? A linguistic error. I meant to say that it embodies my favorite design. Weapons or abilities. And here's Lenin. Just like at the VDNH in Moscow. Indeed. But locked. What else is new? Charles, open it. Unfortunately, I lack the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that? I'll deal with it. Hey, a Valon. Sweet. Okay, what do we have here? Are you planning to disable the Hawk? It isn't responsible for opening the VDNH's doors, you know. Uh, w well, I gotta do something, okay? I'll start with the Hawk.
Hey, Charles, how come shock can go through polymer but not through regular water? Is all the water here distilled or something? Your knowledge of physics is rather impressive, comrade major. You could be right, but no, the water here is quite ordinary. Shock generates isolated electricity that only functions within a cloud of dispersed polymer. Okay, so it only works with less dense substances, like other polymers. Or other electrical fields. The same goes for the glove's other abilities. Frostbite, for example. So, it's like oil and water. May Tesla bless you, Major. What should I do? Hang on to this handle or something? Hold on tight. Hawks are not designed to be ridden. Maybe I can slide down a cable. Interesting fact. From a bird's eye view, you can see that the grass in the park was planted in the shape of the peaceful atom. A bird's eye view? Shit, would you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hog 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable.
civilian robot. For real, that thing. A civilian robot. You tell me, Major. You have far more experience with combat robots than I do. Pretty impressive, isn't it? You can really tell we're on a threshold of something really incredible. I just wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your optimism turns out to be justified. More locked doors. Who the hell keeps locking everything? Whoever he is. I bet he's got a goddamn combination lock on the John at home. The system of mirrors will focus beams of light on the model of our solar system hanging above the entrance. on the left isn't working something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending got it looks like it's back to the basement for me no entry and a skull and crossbones that's encouraging where am i the magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level all the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters i can use an emp on them it's not going to kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. Saving data. <laughs> Comrade Major, have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kind of almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. <laughs> in their goddamn mustaches again. Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device, 
that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. Hmm. Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are, but neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrades Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, Comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone including the government. They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take Collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. 
geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. No, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority in Collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this... So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? This place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Comrade Major? The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, comrade major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. What? Nothing. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. Please, please pr proceed to the information room. System in. How can, can I? How, how can I help you? I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? The time can be, be uh, opened with my multi key error. Multi key not found. All Tereshkova models can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Looks like you lost your multi-key. My forearms have been torn off by miscreants. Error. The required manipulative node is missing. The unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. Where could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. Well, uh, Charles, what do the special neuro connectors for Collective look like? You know, the ones the government is supposed to get. According to Dr. Sechenov's plan, bureaucrats and civil servants will receive fakes. Only the scientists will receive real connectors with discretionary authority. The boss is going to try to deceive the government? That's crazy. How do you know that? Where did you get your neuropolymer glove from, comrade major? What? You mean yourself? I got you from Dr. Sechenov. Exactly. Hold on. You mean he gave me his own glove? The fate of his life's work depends on the success of your mission. Lights out. Huh. It's not about how it feels. It's about how I know. They told us robots. Just leap with.
dead bodies all over the place. And there's Tereshkova's arm. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. Okay, there we go. We gotta get out of here. Indeed. But I suspect that the RAF-9 unit will not be pleased. 